In conflict resolution, we collaborate and seek an agreement for going forward. If the process works, we align our intentions and our free will to a common goal. We seek to design a plan that allows us to go forward into the future. When we consider the concept of free will, we can start with the story of the serpent convincing Adam and Eve to divorce their wills from God's will. At that moment, a fallen world came into existence. In a fallen world, people act on differing intentions and end up going in different directions. Inevitably, they end up opposed to one another. They clash and experience conflict. From a faith-based perspective, one way to address this problem is to bring our wills into alignment with God's will. As our intentions come into alignment, consensus builds. Clashes subside, while harmony and collaboration increase. In mediation, we seek to find a new consensus. We seek to align our intentions and make choices that result in a better relationship. When we align our will with divine will, we enhance and strengthen this process. Reflect on methods of aligning your will with God's will. In your journal, keep an ongoing assessment of the manner in which your will aligns with God's will. How will you assess your intentions so that you are certain you have clarified and identified your real intention. Find someone who will share with you an intention they hope to realize. Do they believe that it's possible to bring their will and God's will into closer alignment? Why or why not? If you would like to contribute to peacemaking, please make a donation to Taming the Wolf Institute 